Big night of sports, including in the WDA, where two old rivals clash. Glad to have Luke Gamble here to take us through the night. That's right. Bismarck and Century, both teams coming into this one with just one loss on the season. The Bismarck has been on fire, winning four straight. Century coming off a loss to Jamestown on Saturday. Big time start out of the gate for the sophomore Anthony Doppler. First bucket of the game, a three ball. Patriots on the board. Bismarck. Putting on the press early, forcing a turnover to Trey Eaglestaff. Easy lay in for him and Bismarck on the board. But off a rebound, building on an early lead. Ian Eli getting the feed there. No problem in the corner. 19-10 lead at that point. But Bismarck with a big second half, 82-71 the final. Over to the girls, a top four matchup in the WDA as well. Bismarck early in this one. Kicks out to Maya Halsworth for three. Cash money, demons on the board, but Sentry using their size to their advantage off the miss. Logan Nisley there for the offensive board, put back, good to go. And the Patriots on the fast break. Jocelyn Jolson alone in the corner. Multiple Patriots in double digits scoring tonight, and that's why they win on the road by 20. How about the top two teams in the WDA? My not undefeated Mandan looking to change that tonight. Ta tie ball game early second half. The cross court pass from Tegan Kitchen to Eric Wentz knocks down the corner tray. That's one way to start the half. Jump ahead to three minutes left in the game. Aaron Grubb finds Jacob Pierce to make it a three point ball game. Mandan trying to crawl back, but just a minute later, it's Deontay Martinez splitting two defenders, gets the bucket and the foul to extend the lead. Minot remains undefeated with a win. On the girls' side, same matchup, different plays. This one up in Minot tonight. First half, Mandan kicking it ahead, but Amaya Ramsey swings the ball to a wide open. Sydney Gustafson, her three is up, and it's good. Later, bodies hitting the floor before Minot gets it to seventh grader. Maggie Fricky jab steps, pulls the three. That's going to make it a three-point ball game. Nice shot there. Later, Braves getting it to their girl. Gustafson drives, hits the Euro step, and gets the bucket. Mandan wins big, 73-50. to Well, you see at St. Mary's, the Sabres have reeled off four straight wins. Saints looking for win number one on the air. Three-point game less than a minute ago. Landon Garving with ice in his veins, tying it up in the corner. Two possessions later, though. Big sequence. Legacy on the fast break seal. A block at the rim, but called a foul. And the leads to a game-clenching free throws there as Legacy takes it 78-74. Over on the girls' side, Legacy coming into this one tied for second in the WDA, taking on St. Mary's defense. A big reason for the Sabres' success. Jaden Baker showing that here with the steal and the coast-to-coast -coast lay in. She did that all night. Later in the first, Ariana Berryhill working the pick and roll to Hannah Simas, who gets the bucket and the foul. Legacy with the big time win, 70 to 27. Elsewhere, Dickinson boys with a win at home over Turtle Mountain. A shifted Class B and intriguing cross regional game between Shiloh Christian and Beach. Wild play here, Bucks. Megan Rising against three Skyhawk defenders able to gather in the paint and somehow over all of them gets it to go and one. Nice play there. But it'll be all Skyhawks from there off a of miss. Playing well in the offensive glasses. Dedra Wood, the putback easy there. Shiloh cruises the home win, 72-44. Bishop Bryan Lions hosting the Velva Aggies tonight up north. First quarter, Lions with the ball. They'll find a cutting Sylvia Kramer, and she lays it in for the basket. That ties the ball game at two. Now Madison Efforts driving later. Kicks it out to Regan Hill. She fires up the corner three. That's good. Velva pulls out a three-point win. Carrington loses 45-42. Linton gets a win, and Rugby wins big, 73-23. Beach wins 65-57 on the boys' side, and Central McLean wins 74-59. We have some hockey tonight.